Hey gang, welcome in. Today we're gonna go over a few things that has come up since our last video where I showed you how to integrate ChatGPT into your chat. If you have not set up your bot to interact with chat, you need to go see this video first, and then after that, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I've had several questions uh, come up after the making of that video, and one of them was, how do I get my bot to stop talking to itself? So there's like a random chat that we set up during that other video, and I figured out a way to keep it from actually talking to itself. I'm going to pull up my bot and show you the extra commands that I placed into that to help it to not talk to itself. And you can actually add in any bot that you don't want your chat bot to interact with. All right, so I renamed my random number to random chat. I put a Z in front of it just to make it be at the very last of this. So originally it was just this right here, random number and this random number less than two. That gives me like a 3% chance of having that because zero to 100. So I didn't want my bot to talk to it anymore. So what I did is I added in this extra logic if else. If you wanna know what that is, if you right click here, you come down to or core, come down to core, you go to logic and you add in if else, okay? So to keep it from talking to itself, what I had to do was grab the actual name of the bot. So uh, this is going to be the one that populates with capital letters that people normally make. It's their username. So the variable is going to be user, just like if it were uh, anything else that uses that variable. And the user is the what people set in their Twitch with their capital letters and stuff, okay? So if the user in this case equals the house bot, which is what my bot is named, then I would have it do no action, run this immediately, then break. Meaning that it breaks and doesn't do the command. And if it does, if it is not that, so say random person says, hey, how's it going? And then the bot is going to check this, respond, and if it's not, the house bot, it will have, it will run its normal course and do random number and then do this. This is kind of like um, coding 101 here, okay? I also have a stream captain bot. I don't want it to respond to my stream captain bot, so I will do that as well. So, so you can technically do that with any other bot that you do not want your chat bot to interact with. All right, one of the other issues that people have brought up is that the sentences will cut off when the bot is in the middle of talking. Twitch only has so many characters that it can give you. So you can go into the code itself and adjust the tokens, which I kind of hinted at in the first video, but we found a better way that is much more manageable for those that aren't used to working inside of code. Let me show you that real quick. All right, so you go to your AI chat command, pull it up, and right here where you have your behavior, uh, when you tell it to act as whatever you're telling it to act as, you just go to the end, and I believe Twitch's responses are 500 characters or less. So if you add this in, as respond with 500 characters or less, or if you even wanted to be safe, 400 characters, then you should never reach the Twitch limit of 500 characters. So very simple way to kind of fix the sentences getting cut off. Again, there's other ways to do it. This is just the easiest way that I found that I thought would be the most helpful for people uh, going forward. All right, so what else can you use this for? How else can you automate the entirety of your stream through AI. Well, there's a lot of dynamic shout outs and stuff out there where all of these fun clips and stuff come up, but most of the wording is very bland or set by one person in the thing. So what if you could do a dynamic chat shout out? All right, to make an AI shout out command, I've already done one here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it from the beginning. You're gonna go to AI chat. What you wanna do is duplicate this. And again, this is something you should already have installed and already set up if you followed our other video. 
This, you're gonna go to the behavior and you're going to say, I'm gonna get rid of all this. Bloop. And you're gonna say, uh, your job is to tell us to check out Twitch streamer. And it's important that you type this next part exactly correct as this is the variable that you're going to be using when you do the shout out. Target user is the variable, okay? You're going to say make sure to include a link to their Twitch page. All right, so the reason that we use this specific words that we have, your job is to tell us to check out the streamer and not tell us to, about the streamer is because that there is this rule with ChatGPT where apparently you're not allowed to tell it to look up information about a specific person. So telling it to check out the web page is okay, apparently. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna hit okay. Uh, you'll also want to rename this, by the way. Uh, just name it AI Shoutout. Hit okay. We're gonna go to commands and we're gonna make a new shout out command. Now I already have one underneath here on mods, but I'll show you how to set this up. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that as well. All right, so to set up a shout out command, most people use SO for shout out. So we're gonna make the command. We're going to put it into whatever group of your commands that you want. I'm just gonna throw it into moderator. These are my moderator specific commands. Uh, I'm going to pick an actual action. We're going to want to pick AI shout out. And I've done this uh, a couple times. Oh, here we go. AI shout out right there. We're going to hit sel uh, select that. That gives us our command. We're going to want to make this for moderators only. If you don't, anybody can shout this out. If, if VIPs is something you want as well, you can do that as well. But I'm just going to leave it there. We're want to, gonna want it to ignore the ch the bot account, and we're only gonna want it to use off Twitch messages. Now you can set up a cooldown or whatever you want to do for that. All right. So once that's done, you'll be able to see what what the result is once we get to our page. And I was already testing this earlier, but I want to show you again. So we're gonna shout out uh, me. All right, House of Jacobs. Hit enter. It'll take a second, but the chat bot will respond and says, hey, everybody, make sure to check out the amazing Twitch streamer, House Jacobs. They have awesome content and gives you the link just like I wanted. And then because it is a very silly bot, it has Twitch streamer and hashtags and all that fancy stuff. Now, in all reality, you can add a little bit more personality to it, telling it to be funny, turning up the creativity. All of that, again, is in our previous video, but that covers shout outs. What about um, raids? What happens when a raid comes in and you want it to automatically talk about the person's raid? Well, I'll show you that next. All right, so just like with the shout out command, we're gonna duplicate this other AI chat command. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna name it AI raid. Uh, I'm putting an EX on the end because I already have an AI raid command right here, so it won't duplicate. Uh, but I wanna show you what to put. All right, once you have this set, you're gonna want to come to the behavior once again, get rid of all of this, whatever you have that you've copied, and you're going to give it one job, is all it has. Your job is to welcome in, again, this is very specific, user and there, and if you want to include how many viewers they had, you would do viewers, this thing right here that I'm highlighting, this is the, it pulls in information and gives you the exact amount of viewers. If you do not want to include this, by all means, you do not have to, okay? You want to also include a Twitch link to their page, all right? And on this one, it's gonna be slightly different. All right, you're gonna to want to go to platforms, Twitch events, and in this case, we wanna to go to the raid event. Oh, you're gonna to want to come up here and pick out where it says AI raid. All right, then it's that simple. 
that is how you would set up an AI raid event. Unfortunately, I can't simulate an AI raid or a raid, but it does very similar to the AI shout out, but this time it's an automatic trigger when the event happens. Again, make sure to use your variables properly. All right, you can do the same thing with follower as well. As you saw, I had an AI follower command, but what if you wanted to, to, be, to have specific things that your people don't want to necessarily ask questions for and maybe just some like little command that's more interactive like say dad jokes funny you should ask i have a command for that all right what you're going to do again where this is going to be a duplicate and it's going to be really simple we're going to call this ai dad joke i already have one so i'm putting an s on the end the command is really easy search the web for amazing dad jokes. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it, it can be as simple as that, or I think uh, I changed up mine a little bit more. Tell us a random dad joke in 400 characters or less. Um, but you'll need, that's just the action to do. So you'll need to come over here and you'll want to give it an actual uh, action. We're gonna put it under our basic commands and we're gonna tell it exclamation dad jokes. This can be done by anyone, so don't worry about this. Uh, again, at, this, at the front, uh, we're gonna give this one a cooldown. We don't want people to spam dad jokes, so we'll say a global cooldown of 60 seconds, but we do want to pick the actual action dad jokes. That's the command we just made, right? Not mine that I already have, but this one. Okay, we'll hit okay, and then we'll go to chat. Once you're in the chat, all you have to do is use the command dad jokes, which is the command we just made, and you hit enter, and it will search the web for a dad joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. These are just some ideas that some of the other people that have used my other video have come up with. And if you have any ideas on cool things that you want to do with this AI, maybe I can try and figure it out if you can't figure it out yourself or uh, that you have done with it, by all means, share in the, in the comments, let everybody know, and I can make another video doing that stuff too. I don't mind. This is kind of a neat little thing, and ChatGPT and AI is pretty cool, and it's really interactive. Almost everybody that I've talked to that's got it to work, that means they actually followed all the directions, were, were able to say that their chat is thoroughly enjoying the bot just being ridiculous. I even had one friend set his up to be a robotic chicken, and the puns are insane. But thank you guys very much. If you enjoyed this video and you wanted to uh, share this with everybody, by all means, share it out there. Again, hit up our first video to, to show you how to set up the basics of this. And then also hit the sub, hit the like. Just help us out, man. We're trying to grow. And uh, the more we can get out there, the more people that see this and the more fun that can be had in chats across Twitch and even YouTube. Uh, you can join us live on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday or Saturday, or you can check out our videos. We drop something pretty much every day, even if it's just a short. Uh, anyways, thank you guys very much, and we'll see you next time on House of Jacobs.